Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Eric Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today's Tuesday, July 2nd, 2024, and here are the readings for today. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 9, verses 1 through 7. Brethren, the first covenant had regulations for worship and an earthly sanctuary. For a tent was prepared, the outer one, in which were the lampstand and the table and the bread of the presence. It is called the holy place. Behind the second curtain stood a tent called the holy of holies, having the golden altar of incense and the ark of the covenant covered in all sides with gold, which contained a golden urn holding manna and Aaron's rod that budded and the tables of the covenant. Above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot now speak in detail. These preparations having thus been made, the priests go continually into the outer tent, performing their ritual duties. But into the second only the high priest goes, and he but once a year, and not without taking blood which he offers for himself and for the errors of the people." A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 39-49, through 49, and verse 56. Let us be attentive. In those days Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country, to a city of Judah, and she entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the voice of your greeting came to my ears, the babe in my womb leaped for joy, and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord. And my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed, for he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And Mary remained with her about three months, and returned to her home. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. It is interesting when we talk about countries and our belonging to countries, a lot of times there is an image that is associated, a human kind of an image that's associated with the particular country. In Russia, there is the idea of Holy Mother Russia. Now during communism, it was in the form of a female bear. In other times, like during the time of the Tsar, and maybe even today, the image is that of the Mother of God. In America, we are not interested in matriotism as much as we are as in patriotism. So you notice that matra, maternal, patra, paternal. So for us in America, it is a paternal, a fatherly thing. Our country has a father image or we talk about founding fathers we put george washington in a greek robe or a roman robe and many pictures and paintings and portrayals all of washington dc points to these great luminous figures of the founding of the country thomas jefferson and the like well george washington's monument of course we also have later on abraham lincoln and what is he sitting like on a judgment throne looking again very godlike but all masculine all patriotic but today in the orthodox church there's a remembrance of the placing of the robe and honestly the belt of the mother of god in a town called lacerni which is very close to constantinople there in constantinople it is also understood that the mother of God is the protectress of that area. So not only is she the protector of Mother Russia, but she is also the protector of Constantinople, and she's also the protectress of Mount Athos. And so the feminine is that which stands. So today we remember that belt, 
It was discovered in the 5th century, um, belonging in the house of a pious Jewish woman whose family was given the robe by the Mother of God shortly before her falling asleep. And they preserved it for many decades until these journey, journeying people um, tied to the emperor found this place and brought the um, relic that was there to Constantinople. And there it has served to protect that area for many years. It helped to protect and preserve that area of La Cerny, um, from foreign attack, either by the hands of the Persians or, believe it or not, by the Russians themselves before they converted to orthodoxy. And so we, we think of these things and we need to be gentle and considerate because what we're really dealing with are political concerns, not so much theological concerns. But what we do know is that God takes care of his people. And that is a very important thing for us to remember. And so in today is remembering her, her robe or remembering other things along those lines. We remember that God is there to protect and to save in the time of difficulty, in the threat of war, the threat of attack, the threat of violence. God is able to protect in all sorts of different ways. Or he's able to allow things to come to chastise the people righteously, of course, and bring them to some form of repentance. In Blatierny, he helps deliver them from their enemies and keep them safe. In the time of Isaiah, the Babylonians overran the area where Isaiah was writing and brought all of the leadership of the people into exile in Babylon. So there they were given opportunities for repentance and a, an amending of their way of life and ultimately they did find their way back into the homeland that they had come from but even there the protection only happened in the form of a righteous chastisement not necessarily a protection that keeps them safe god does what he chooses and whatever is necessary for the well-being of his people he will not destroy us utterly but he might put us into a position where we would rather not find ourselves, like communism. And even then, faithful remnant remained, no matter how difficult it was in their time. God will provide, this is true, just as he provided in the community of Lacherny, and just as he will continue to provide throughout the ages. Well, I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If you did, consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the section below. I'll be happy to address them. And may God bless and keep you and everyone you love today. And always in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Have a great day. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.